Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try our hand at a different example. Again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the correct capacitor, which will take our initial circuit and change it so that the power factor changes from 0.85 to 1, which means that the phase angle goes from 31.79 degrees to 0 degrees. They gave us some information. They tell us that the load is 140,000 VAR. Now, when they say VAR, that means volt ampere reactive. That means they give us the reactive power of the circuit, which when we draw the power triangle, that's equal to the opposite side right here. They didn't actually give us the power consumed by the resistor, by the load. They do give us that the VAR has 110 volts and that omega is 377 because the frequency is 60 cycles per second. And then we're going to use the equation where the capacitor required is equal to the power for the, for the resistor times the difference between the tangent of the initial phase angle and the tangent of the final phase angle. We divide by VRMS squared and divide by omega, the angle of frequency of the circuit. So first what we need to find is we need to find the power. We're going to do that by using this triangle right here. We can see that the tangent of the phase angle is going to be equal to the ratio of the opposite side over the adjacent side, which is Q sub i over power, which means that the power is equal to Q sub i divided by the tangent of the initial phase angle. So in this case, that's going to be equal to 140,000 divided by the tangent of the initial phase angle of 31.79 degrees. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We take the tangent of that angle. Take the inverse of that, multiply it times 140,000 equals, that gives us 225,900. So 225,900 watts is the power requirement of this, of this uh, load circuit. So now we plug that in here. So that's equal to 229,000, oh, 225,900. Make that a five. Multiply that times the tangent of the original angle, which is 31.79 degrees, minus the tangent of 0 degrees. Of course, the tangent is 0. That's the same as the sine of 0 would be 0. Divided by VRMS squared, 110 squared, times omega, which is 377. All right. So we multiply this times 31.79, take the tangent of that divide by 110 squared, and divide by 377. And that gives us, uh, let's see here, a capacitor equal to 30.7 millifarad. So a capacitor of that size will take care of that, that load circuit, which means it will reduce the power or increase the power factor to 1, meaning a phase angle of 0 degrees. That means maximum impedance and minimum current required to supply the power to the load circuit, and that is how it's done.